You don't need a massive collection, realistically, if you want to smell good. I do think, though, you need a fragrance wardrobe. For me, there's actually five fragrances you always need in your collection. And you can just live with those five fragrances, and I think I would be fine. But if you're obsessed with fragrance like me, uh, and if you absolutely love it and it's your passion, then have a big collection. But here today, uh, the fragrances I give 10 over 10 straight away. The five type every woman need niche edition. If you want designer, let me know in the comment right now. And if you want the men's version, you let me know in the comment right now. The first category has to be everyday wear. Okay, let me explain myself here. This is going to be the closest to your signature scent. A fragrance that you wouldn't mind to wear every day for the rest of your life, basically. The fragrance that, oh, you know, you wake up in the morning and like, I do not know what to wear. You need something that is not too eccentric, unless you're eccentric and you like something like a full on, fair enough. But I think for me personally, I like something a bit tamed, easy for every day that I know I would always love, that I won't feel, oh, this is too heavy today, or feeling, oh, I don't fancy this today. Just a fragrance I fancy every day. And my choice is Camellia K by Ella K. This is, this is the, one of the best floral I've smelled. I, I am boiling. I don't know if it's my hormones today, but I'm boiling. <laughs> the microphone. Where is it? Oh no, dear Lord, why am I so clumsy? <laughs> Absolutely gonna pretend everything is going fine. Anyway, I love this because there's dragon fruit and dragon fruit is amazing because it gives something exotic and fruity that I really love with a pinch of floral. It's like very uh, feminine when you smell it, like very juicy as well. Project, it's got an amazing longevity. I love that for every day. It's not too heady as well. I love it. My backup bottle for every day would definitely be something, maybe a little bit more unisex, but this is definitely my uh, fragrance for every day. Uh, this is Piano Santal, a milky sandalwood, very sharp sandalwood, so very woody and very creamy, creamy, and a lot of ambroxan, so warmer, dry down, ambery dry down. It's very beautiful, but I'd say this one is for the lovers of something a little bit more, less is more style. The number two fragrance you will definitely need is a fun going out fragrance. Even though you don't go out too much, I'm talking also you're going out with your friends. It's the fragrance when you leave the room, everybody gonna smell you. Example, Le Mal, Jean-Paul Gaultier was used in every nightclub because you know, like it's, you can smell it from far. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, something extremely Fun. One fragrance that I love for that and it will always be Gozo. I'm using that every time, every time when I'm out. And if I don't use it, I actually spray on top of the fragrance I spray at home because this fits my handbag perfectly. One of the best fragrances I smell, I keep talking about it and about it and about it. It's ambery and it's floral. It does have a little bit of plastic vibe, barbecue vibe. I love it. It's always sold out and there's one reason for this. And my number two will be something a little bit different. That's the backup. The backup bottle will definitely be like Alexander J. Imperial Peacock. This is a rhubarb, but when you smell it, really, you can smell a lot that fruity rhubarb. But it's very powdery. It's very uh, mysterious, very bewitching. It's following you around you. Like it makes a, such a luxurious fragrance to spray. Every time I spray that, people compliment me. It's such a compliment getter. And this is... I'd say a little bit more bougie. Next fragrance you will always need is the office workplace. Office, but not everyone works in an office, but you need something like versatile and not too uh, captivating or not too intoxicating for your colleague. I think it's really important that you uh, know where to when and where to wear the good fragrance. It's not the time where you're gonna put your oud for greatness. No, your baccarat rouge, no. It's unless it's a special day and you really want to step out, you know. But I feel for every day, if you, and it's especially if you want to focus, if I have a strong, 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 very strong scent and I really want to focus, it's impossible with something like that. So 
my workplace scent will always be a Parisian mask. This is the best fragrance, professional fragrance I've ever smelled. I keep going back to it all the time. It's very simple, but it's done to perfection. It's French perfumery at its best to me. When people ask me, oh, what was the, the change between other culture, I, I would like to take this because this is very simple, but very well done. So it's musky, but it's white musk. And white musk is cottony, fluffy, that kind of vibe. You can smell, for me, a lot of fig in this fragrance. I've been using it a lot. It's very rare when my bottle goes under uh, the uh, half of the bottle because it takes, uh, obviously, a bit longer. Even though I share my bottle, Miller Harris Peau Santal, it's a sandalwood that is very sharp. It does have a little bit of a blusher makeup vibe, so quite powdery. And it it's nearly half that thing with Spanish Soul shaving. Uh, it's really something that gives you like a classic, uh, professional, but very modern look. The next one is for the dinner date. So the dinner date is different than the going out. So dinner date, you're going with your loved one and you need something that is gonna be sensual. Me personally, a bit sexy, but not too sexy. You don't wanna be trashy for a dinner date. I mean, up to you. It depends who's the person in front of you. <laughs> You know? Like, if you really want to seduce, but in a way that is very sophisticated, I think you should reflect that in the fragrance as well. One point that is really important is that when you wear a dinner date fragrance, think don't make the fragrance too strong. It's okay to be more skin scent or at least medium projection, because if you go full on, what is the lady gonna think at the next table? Maybe she hates perfume and you project your baccarouge in her face. She's drinking the whole dinner and she smells and she can't even taste the taste of a fish. I would go for Rolling in Love by Kilian. Don't mind my bottle that is absolutely destroyed. Oh, it's not the bottle, it's just the cap. I went to the seaside with it. To the sea, just the sea, uh, with it. I do everything with my perfume, okay? <laughs> the go-to. I've tried so many fragrances and I keep coming back to that as a dinner date fragrance. First of all, I always got nice compliment when I was wearing it on a date. It also has something almondy that it feels a bit gourmand, but not too much. You want to eat it, but slightly. That it's, you know, like a, it's bewitching as well. And it's very milky. You have a freesia tuberose. You can't really smell the freesia too much in there. For me, it's more tuberose, that creamy, extravagant white floral. The texture is quite thick. It's got a lot of depth. This is one of the best investments I've done, I have to say. Um, I will definitely repurchase it after my bottle is done. Backup option will definitely be uh, Electimus and it's Mercurial Cashmere. This is my favorite from all the range of Electimus. By the way, I would probably need to do a review of uh, Electimus. It's again tuberose, which I think it's a floral that is very addictive, so it's nice. It's not um, animalic tuberose like you can smell, for example, in Carnal Flower from Frederick Mel. It feels like a cashmere, uh, silky, maybe velvety dress. I love the fact that there's caramel that is uh, going on top of the tuberose. It makes something a little bit more sexier, but so refined, so sophisticated. Finally, the fifth category that you definitely need, the fresh Sunday mood fragrance. I've hesitated to put like a summer vibe fragrance, or just a fresh fragrance, but at the moment it's not very sunny. It doesn't look like it right now, but trust me, it's raining. And I feel really already in autumn vibe. I, I can't, I can't with summer fragrance anymore. So I wanted to add as the fifth category, the Sunday mood. Wherever your day off is, you always need a fragrance that you wear with your pyjama, that you like to relax in. Light, fresh, and smells clean. Rhodes, and this is Cloud9. This is one of the best discovery I've done this year. I love this fragrance brand. Rhodes is an Irish brand, actually. They really surprised me with that fragrance. It's very simple, but it does work so much. Imagine a laundry machine and you smell the clothes after. They smell super clean, super fresh. Imagine something that is like soapy, but soapy clean, not too fizzy. Imagine you on a cotton, uh, like a uh, cotton bed sheet and you're relaxing. Imagine 
uh, you're on a cloud and that's called cloud nice. It, you don't need to spray a lot. Like honestly, usually I spray one or two spray and I'm good for my Sunday and it's amazing. And finally, uh, I will talk about my backup bottle, which is not more than a backup bottle, but uh, it's Milk Minus. Uh, this is from Commodity. This is literally one of my favorite fragrances forever. Um, if you like milky notes, it does smell a bit artificial, a bit like roads, you know, that's, that's the, the thing with clean fragrance. You're gonna love that. It's a fresh milky scent. It's the best fresh milky scent I've ever smelled in my life. I keep wearing it. It does have a marshmallow note. So if you like a little bit more gourmand, but you want clean, this is amazing. Okay guys, what did you think? How do you purchase your fragrance? Do you think of like, oh, I'm gonna wear that then, I'm gonna wear that then. How many fragrances you have in your collection? I know a lot of you, like this is where I did the video where I judged uh, the collection of others that I've seen, that many of you actually don't have a big collection. This girl that I remember, like she, she had like five fragrances or something like that. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a big collection, I'm, I'm new. It doesn't show me that you knew, it shows me that you know, uh, what you want and uh, how to organize yourself, which is great. I wish I would have been like that before as well when I started my collection. I was a bit all over the place. I started to love vetiver, so I bought shitloads of vetiver. I started to buy sandalwood, so much sandalwood, and I realized that, oh, uh, it's not very organized. Now, if I had to do it again, I would definitely do it more organized like this. It's not gonna happen anymore unless I sell everything. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, I will see you soon. Bye now.